Hey guys, Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Today I've got a video for you on the forehand, getting it more consistent. And stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can get this Grip Right trainer, which is going to really help you if you're looking to modernize your forehand, perhaps changing your grip to a strong eastern or semi western grip so you can get a little more spin, add a little more power. I'm going to give you this Grip Right trainer 100% free, so stick around to the end of the video. Uh, let's get started. I've got three amazing drills to improve your consistency and your power on your forehand. So if you're ready, Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get into our consistency training. I've got three drills for you that's really going to help you dial in and find out where your ideal power and consistency swing is and what you can and you cannot do. So the first thing I want you to do is, is it's super important to find out your ideal height. Okay, so first we're going to start with extreme risk. We're going to try and go low at the net, maybe even hit some balls in the net. And we're trying to hit the ball hard, trying to hit about 80% of your power level. Again, I've got my grip rate right trainer right here, so I know I'm in my semi western grip. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set, I'm going to set up in my unit turn. So I'm going to set up on my unit turn. I'm coming back to you guys. I'm also going to get in the Coke bottle wind up, which I've talked about in other videos. And so here I am. I'm all loaded up. I'm going to release that core. And I'm going to aim really low over the net. <laughs> See, that one went higher than I want. I'm going to aim low over the net. Okay, not bad. That one went in. I'm going to even lower over the net. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so so far I'm happy with this. We're hitting a lot of power, and they're going low over the net. Now that one went into the net. That one went into the net again. Okay, that's good because that's what I'm going after. I'm going after that net. I'm flirting with the net and the net strap. That one went just over the net. That one went just wide but a lot of power. Oh, that one went in. Okay, so you see I'm making some, I'm missing some. But I'm really kind of finding out what is my potential for going low and how many are going to go in and how much power am I generating. So far I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to bring that a little higher than that, maybe about two to three feet over the net with a little more spin. <laughs> okay, this feels pretty good and it feels a lot safer to me. I feel like maybe I could play a match like that and be aggressive and pretty consistent. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do something I call the ultimate rally ball to where I'm going to drop deeper into a tilt and lift that ball anywhere from four to eight feet over the net. Okay, so this is going to go much higher. I'm also going to do more of a up and down windshield wiper finish. So I'm getting deep in the tilt, going higher and hitting that ultimate rally ball. <laughs> Whoops, and I pulled off that one too early. <laughs> and that one just dropped in. So I feel like I can be pretty consistent with that too. So that feels pretty good. And you know, I really like the way option two and three felt. If I'm feeling aggressive, I'll play more in option two. If I'm feeling more like I gotta have more margin, I'm gonna go in option number three. Option number one is for when I wanna go for more winners. I'm feeling really super confident. Okay. The next thing we're going to do to really narrow in our consistency is we're going to do alley rallies with ourselves. We're going to get our basket and we're going to see how many out of 10 we can make in the alley. Okay, so let's do that. So this is a great drill I've learned at an early age and it was kind of cool. I got to interview Rod Laver and he said that they used to rally all the time in what he called the tram lines and as soon as they miss, they'd stop the rally, start again. But you can do this completely 100% on your own with a basket and what you can do is you can line up and it's really going to help you feel your shoulders. So that one went in. That's one for one. Two for two. Right? Now let's miss one on purpose. <laughs> okay? So now this is really showing me, really helping me feel like I can really feel more dramatically when I'm going for the alley. What happened? Why did I miss that forehand? I pulled my hip out of the socket too early and that made me go wide. Right? So let me try and make that adjustment and see if I can get it back in the alley. Okay, now we're going back in the alley. That's pretty good. That might have been a little long, but I really like the aim that I'm having. Let's say I miss Y the other way. What happened there? I was a little late and my hip didn't er rotate early enough. So it's a really great drill to go there 
and see how many out of 10 you can make. All right, so we're gonna come back with our third and final consistency drill that you're gonna wanna run out to the court and do today. Okay guys, here's your third and final consistency drill. What I have here is I've got three areas of the court. I've got the down the line, I've got the in the middle, and I've got cross court. So I've got myself like a little mountain of balls. What I'm trying to do is first I want to, I basically want to go one, two, three. So I want to have really good control. I want to go cross court, which is basically going to be from the mountain of balls over the single sideline. Then I'm going to go in the middle, right through the goal post. That should be our easiest one. And then down the line. And I want to see if, first of all, how consistent I am and if one shot's harder than, than the other. So I'm going to go cross court. We're going to hit that. That one was just out. We're going to go down the middle. So that one I might have been just out too. And we're going to go down the line. That one was in. Okay, let's try it again. All three of those felt good, so I'm not so upset. I'm not really freaking out with it. Let's try it again. Let's go cross court. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's go in the middle. Pretty good. And let's go down the line. Perfect. Very cool. I made all three. I'm really, really happy with that. So I'm going to tell you right now how you can get this Grip Right Trainer 100% free. You're going to love it. Okay, so very cool. I promise you at the end of this video, I'm going to send you this 100% free. So what I want you to do right now is in the description below or in the card section or a link that you'll see at the very end of this video, there's basically three or four ways to sign up. You can look in the comments too. It's there. You can find the link and what you can sign up for is you can get forehand training and I'm going to send you this Grip right trainer for free so I'm giving you the best train on the on the planet with Rick Macy Jeff Solenstein Dr. Mark Kovacs these are coaches that I used to upgrade my forehand last summer to modernize it add a little more easy power a little more spin a little more consistency so if that sounds good to you go there sign up and you'll find out how you can get this grip right trainer for free Thank you.